Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Mark Walker, Chairman and CEO of Direct Digital Holdings. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is DRCT on NASDAQ. And Direct Digital Holdings will be presenting at our upcoming investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase in Las Vegas, taking place April 25 through 27, 2023. For more information to register and see that presentation, please go to planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Mark, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Good, doing good. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. It's great to have you. So we actually, we, we did an interview together not that long ago. We published that on February 9th, 2023. It was on the due diligence series. So I invite everybody to go check that out. We we do a nice deep dive into everything going on at Direct Digital. You know, but for those that may not have heard of the company before, or, you know, uh, this is their first time engaging with any content having to do with Direct Digital, what would you say is that quick overview of the company? And then we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So just to give a little bit of color about what we do at Direct Digital, we help companies buy and sell media. We leverage technology to do it. We have two different business segments uh, for our business. We have a buy side platform where we work with roughly 200 to 250 different clients, um, helping them purchase media to drive ROI for their company. And then we also have a sell side of our business where we actually work directly with publishers, connecting them into the programmatic ecosystem in order for them to sell media um, through in an automated fashion through our buying uh, public. Um, we focus in on the middle market, um, on our buy side business, and then we also focus in on multicultural publishers, bringing um, what we call these long tail publishers into the ecosystem where there's a significant amount of value for our buying community. So that's it in a nutshell. We've been publicly traded um, for about a year now. We um, Last year, we just reported earnings and we did about $88 million in top line revenue. Very good. I was just going to go there with that. Uh, I, you know, we're recording this uh, on Monday, uh, March 27th. The company announced earnings last week. So let's get into it. You know, tell us about the, the company's performance. Yeah, we we actually had a, a stellar year. We grew at roughly about 130% year over year. We're a profitable company with about a 11% EBITDA margin, delivered about $9 million in EBITDA um, on top of $88 million in top line revenue. Uh, when you think about our growth trajectory um, for our first year being public and being a, a micro cap or a small cap company, um, that's a formidable um, a formidable feat um, for the 70 employees that we have working for us. So very excited about the performance, very excited about the growth, um, and really looking forward to 2023 to continue the momentum. So speaking of that performance, and firstly, congratulations, that's always a you know, that, that's always what you want to see when running the business. What were some of the reasons for the growth that you've seen over this last year? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's twofold. Um, one, the fact that we're focused on the middle market. And when we think of middle market, we're thinking of companies that are between your five to 500 million in top line revenue um, that are in your tier two, tier three media markets. That's one piece for specifically for our buy side. What we have found is those local and regional advertisers were a little bit late to the game in making that transition um, into digital media. And the catalyst for them doing it was really COVID. Once COVID occurred, a lot of them saw the need to be digital first for their sales functions, and we're the beneficiaries of that. In addition to that, what they've also noticed is their broadcast TV dollars and traditional media just isn't as effective as it used to be. And so now they're moving more into the the uh, the business that we're in and, and helping people purchase in open CPA marketplaces. That's been one growth catalyst for us. The second growth catalyst is really around our sell side business with 40% of the United States being multicultural and the fact that um, we have the largest aggregation of multicultural publishers um, impressions that are available. Um, you're starting to see more and more advertisers realize that for growth, they have to reach those audiences and those marketplaces. So for our sell side business, that has been the big catalyst for us. And we're seeing a positive momentum going forward in that direction. Perfect segue. Uh, speaking of catalysts, you know, from what you can tell us, what are some of the company's value catalysts now looking ahead to 2023? Yeah, for 2023, our big um, catalyst that we're looking for growth is to maintain our um, one, maintain profitability. Um, we work diligently to be when we were private, we were profitable and be in public. 
we want to maintain that same level of profitability um, is number one. Number two for us is to maintain the same level of growth trajectory that um, that we have actually put out in the marketplace. Last year, um, we were projected to do 50 million. We ended up doing 88. Um, this year, uh, we projected and, and gave guidance that we would be somewhere between 118 to 122 million in top line revenue, maintaining a healthy growth of about 30% growth rate, 30 to 38% growth rate. With that being stated, we're looking and believe that the market, um, specifically in the middle market and specifically in the multicultural audiences, are continue to grow. And so we're still pushing the, the pedal down to reaching those audiences by increasing our sales strategy increasing our growth with our sales functions so that we can feel the same growth and maintain the level of profitability that we've been able to experience in the past. Very good. All right. Well, Mark, to close us out here today, as we said at the top, Direct Digital is going to be in Vegas uh, presenting, participating, doing some one-on-ones. So f- we're going to put this on your company profile page. So can you give us those three reasons why folks who might be looking at Direct Digital potentially do a one-on-one with, what are those three reasons why they should want to do a meeting with you? Yeah, I, there are three reasons I would give is one, the fact that we're a micro cap company. Um, number two, we're profitable um, and we've maintained a healthy profit margin, roughly about 10 percent. And then number three, not too many companies that are our size are profitable and have a 30 to 40 percent year over year growth trajectory um, that they're planning on for 2023. So those two, those three reasons are really the primary driver of why I think um, people at, my, at Planet Microcap would want to come visit with us. And then the last reason is not too many um, multicultural or microcap companies um, that are in the digital space are really focused on that middle market. And we're the we're we're strength we're we're strength, and our focus is right in that in that uh, fairway. So those are the three reasons I would actually give us why people would want to meet with us. Very good. Well, Mark, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Direct Digital Holdings? Yeah. If you want to learn more about us, come to directdigitalholdings.com. We'd love to uh, answer any questions that you might have and feel free to reach out to us. Very good. Well, Mark, thank you so much for joining me here today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I'll see you in Vegas. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.